There we go, fish on. Good fish, fish on. There we go, here's another fish. That one right here. There we go, here's another one. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. There he is. We're gonna head down the lake and see if we can't catch something. Uh, we just started here because this is new to us. We got the launch ramp here, we got the bridge. Some people said that there's actually good fish here at the bridge. But we also watch the videos of other people's YouTube channel. Caught some fish, it looks like it's further down this way. So we're gonna go find out. Right there. Hot dog. Now I'm in the spot to actually try to catch fish in the worm. Actually do a little flipping and pitching standing up my kayak. Hope I don't fall off. Got a little lay down right here. Not in very deep in water, but it falls off very quick. Just missed one. Just missed one. I'm easing into the 12 foot part right here. 14 foot, it's pretty deep. This is where you back up and cast a Carolina rig from one side to the other and come down it and back up. But yeah, now I'm marking out fish at that 14 to 15 foot. I'm seeing fish down there. There we go, fish on. Good fish, fish on. We got one right here on Pro Am Outdoors. In the deep water, as I called it, working a worm slow. Let's get him in. All right. Got this one right here. Well, you like that one. All right. How's that look, Robert? Yeah. Work that hole with that worm real slow. Right here on Pro Am Outdoors. What do you think about that? There's one. Let's see if we can catch some more. Now here's what I'm using to catch that fish. I'm just using a Texas rig three odd hook. This is a Brady brush hog, California 420 is the color. And I'm using a 3 16th out bullet head weight, which is tungsten. And I actually pegged it with a toothpick just a little bit higher, almost like a Carolina rig and just dragged it slow in that deep hole. Let's go. Well, I fished that area for about 35 more minutes and decided to go on down the lake to the other side of that bridge, went around this little park and I found the cove and guess what? I hook into a big one, so stay tuned. Big old dog. Big dog 
No, but I'm looking at the biggest dog I've ever seen. <laughs> There we go. Here's another fish. That one right here. Oh man, he's a fighter too. Look at that one. Alright, give me all that. Alright. Another one right here. Got a bad little fish right here. Out here I'm probably out my doors. Got another little, what a nice little fat little fish right here. I'm liking that. Good looking little little lake here. Got a few little fish in it. Blech. Yeah. Man, that feels good to get bit like that. Wasn't a hard bite, but it was fun. Might catch another one over here too, don't know. We're gonna try it again. Back side. Go here's another one. Oh my goodness, that's a big one. That's a big, 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 big fish. Big, big, big fish. All right, got a big fish out here. Oh man, that's a good one there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh son. Oh yeah. He's ever been a four pounds. Look at that size of that fish out here. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'll take a picture with him. Yeah. All right, got a good looking one here. Man, this is awesome. Love fishing. We can catch them like that. Good flat little belly. Look at that. Awesome out here. Having a great day out here on Pro Am Outdoors. Let's let this one go. Man, that feels good to catch one that size. Oh my goodness, that was a good, good fish. The back side right there, along this wall. Okay, folks, I think I'm going to end it right there. It's getting too dark, getting too cold. Uh, we got to put up these kayaks. Had a good time. There's a lot of great stuff going on out here. Caught three fish, but we got started late. We only been on the lake for about an hour and a half. So now we find out more about it. I think it's gonna be a pretty good lake to fish. Uh, I don't think there's a lot here, but you know, what is here is pretty nice. But it's getting cold, it's time to go in. We'll see you next time here on Pro-Am Outdoors. Remember, keep your line wet and your hook sharp.